Hello, beautifuls. Hi. There is a possibility that my tripod will tip over. So if you see the ceiling, don't worry. I got you. I'll bring you back. What's up, friends? Good to see you in the group in this private, judgment-free, intimate Facebook community. I'm so lucky to be leading you through um, today. And today, we're going to be talking about the three mind-blowing hacks that I've discovered to finding epic love and, and date with magnetism, date with uh, confidence, so we can find that man that, we, excuse me, that we've been wanting. And there's a fly. So, <laughs> hi. One sec. You know I gotta have my coffee. Hmm. So, first of all, I just want to say that like the all the dating advice out there is a little bit misleading. I must say there are some um, people in in this space. Um, I'm not gonna name any names because I ain't like that. I like to stay in my self energy. But I think that. Um, a lot of the dating advice and even the dating advice that we get from our friends and from our family um, is very outwardly focused on the other person. Um, it's like, how can we, you know, how can we compete or how can we put our best foot forward? Or if like, I remember when I used to go to friends to ask for advice, it was a lot about them or like, like he's messed up and he should be doing this and he should be doing that. And what it doesn't, like this dating advice, typically what it doesn't account for is how we feel on the inside. How we feel on the inside about the very disruptive and self-defeating patterns or self, quote unquote, self-sabotaging patterns that we see. You know, um, a lot of my clients see um, the delete and download cycle and the frustration and the confusion and the ghosting and the sleeping with them too quickly. This, um, maybe they're seeing this or hearing the same feedback, like, um, it doesn't seem like you have enough time or what have you. And what a lot of people will say, well, it's just this one thing that you're doing wrong, right? When in reality, I want to affirm with you that you are doing everything right. And what my invitation for you is, and we'll talk about a lot about this today, is to, to look inside about where you are. I know that you want this magnificent, epic love. That is why I believe that we are here on earth as humans to find fulfillment in life. Like that is why I'm here. That is why I am teaching you this path, this system that I have used and that I've learned so that we can stop limiting ourselves. We can stop settling. We can stop putting ourselves in situations to be hurt, to be ghosted. We can start choosing the right man to be intimate with, to give our full heart to. But it's all about in who we choose. And guess what? We choose from the inside. And all of the advice that I see, oh, there are many fish in the sea, yes, and what if we choose in that shark fish that are just gonna eat us, little, eat our little hearts all, you know, alive? Um, I hear, you know, I hear that there's a lot of pain out there right now, collective pain, especially with women that are out there dating and out there on the apps. Um, and that pain, it feels really deep. You know, it feels like almost a, um, a place where we do collective in a way that we do feel like that we have to compete with, with other women. And y'all, it is not like that. Um, and what I want you to realize is it's, it's not like that. And you hearing that isn't going to be enough for you. And I know that. And you may say, well, Lily, I don't believe you. Um, you know, I'm competing with this other woman right now, or it feels like I have to, you know, be a different person um, on the dating apps. What I'm going to say is that it doesn't have to be that way. So I just want to say that there is a better way. There is always a better, better way. So what I have come to discover is the uh, date with magnetism method and framework for calling in this magnificent 
magnetic man that you are looking to have, the one that comes behind you. Uh, you know, I always uh, I just like love this feeling of the one that comes behind you when, maybe when you're washing dishes and he en envelops you and engulfs you in his supportive and protective energy. And this framework, the system that I use, Date with Magnetism framework, is the exact system that I have used to kind of, to get to this place, to get the, to this place of inner knowing and inner self-worth and inner, inner self-love that no one else on the outside could give to me, but I could give to myself. Um, first of all, you are not wrong. It's not your fault that your dating life has been confusing. We were never taught this in 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 our families likely we were never never modeled this in our families disney has taught us to have an unrealistic expectation for love and for relationship um you have probably you are if you're listening to this you are probably a very evolved woman like you're smart you have you ex succeed in different areas of your life you um maybe like love and relationship is like the one thing that you would love to have available to you um, because you have succeeded in other areas of your life. So we just haven't been taught. It's not our fault. We just haven't been taught on how to be ourselves in relationship and to not look for affirmation, to not look for validation, but to really be, stand in our self-love and our self-worth and embody that through us so that we can attract the right men that are right for us and be attracted to them the kicker right so i want to give you credit i want to give you credit for all of the work you've done all the podcasts you've listened to all the books that you've read i want to give you credit for all of that that is work that needed to be done and maybe you are ready for the next step which is not just knowing what you want but actually getting what you want. That is the difference. And what actually works in this realm, in this dating realm, is not about like your profile looking great, the pictures that you post, the words on your profile. And it is more than those, all of those things that have prepared you to get to this point, right? Knowing what you don't want, writing that list of qualities that you want in a man, writing that list of maybe values even if you've gotten that deep. You are prepared, girl. You are more prepared than probably a lot of people out there. And um, you are completely, like if, if there was a dating resume, like I know you would be stacking up on that. Like I know you would have straight A's. The difference between knowing what we want and actually getting what we do want is a gap that we will talk about right today and you are not destined to fail you belong here you are with me watching this video in this safe space and i see you i am with you i've been through every single i i don't want to guarantee this part i have a guarantee but i don't want to guarantee this part you have I have been through almost every single pain, every single bad move that you've made, every single reach for validation, like hurt that you've been through with your family, hurt that you've been through with your friends, distancing yourself from your friends, not having any friends, isolating yourself, maybe inside or internally. Look, I mean, girl, I can go on looking better on the outside than you do on the inside. I have been there. You are not alone. You are not alone. And I got you. I got you. The one thing that you need to get ready to transform these self-defeating and self-sabotaging patterns, like maybe um, getting ghosted, even though it's, it is about them, with love and with compassion, and I only do this because I can help you on the other side, is the people that we are attracting into our lives is not, this is the one thing that you need to know. Your patterns, your patterns are not you. Your patterns are not you at all. What we know now, and this is all new research, is that the patterns that we see, our behaviors, our choices, oh, there's a hummingbird, again, our behaviors, our choices, are actually a part of us that is wounded. A part of us that is wounded. 
So what we have the opportunity to do, and this is important, what we have the opportunity to do, and I know that you know this because you've done this in other areas of, of your life or that you, you're already really into personal growth work, is we have to heal those parts of, of us that are choosing these unavailable men. We are not choosing. Our patterns, our wounded self, our wounded parts of us are choosing. So we have the opportunity with our higher level of distinction to choose to heal these parts. That is the sauce. It is the sauce. And it's important because we do have choice in this. It's not about what you do, what you say, advice that other people are giving you. It's about your internal relationship with different parts of yourself. And you have choice. So it's not you. It's just a part of you that is choosing. Great. That is the equation. One thing that you can do this week, if you're watching this video on the weekend or whenever you watch this, watch this one thing that you can do this week is to be observant of your patterns inside yourself. For example, um, are you really anxious in the dating world? Or are you shut down? Or are you sometimes anxious, sometimes shut down? Start to be aware and pull out your notes app or whatever you keep your notes, if you keep a journal, when do you start to feel, like what are you feeling on the inside? When do you start to feel anxious? When do you start to feel shut down? What are the patterns that you're noticing? That is the one thing that you can do to really start to be aware of how you feel about love on the inside. How do you feel about relationships? Do you feel like it's, you know, it's impossible? How many times do you say that to yourself this week? So just be aware. And when you come into a healing container with me, this is what that I, again, this is the system and the process that I've gone through, and this is what we do together. We heal together. This is the date with, with magnetism framework that I'm talking about. We start to heal together from your past. You can name it whatever you want, girl. Mother wounds, father wounds, abandonment wounds, shadow work, whatever it is. That does not happen alone. It happens in support. If you, you're already in therapy, you're already in a program, awesome, you are my people. I just have the ability, and I'm not the only one, but I have the ability to get to the deeper root cause work if you want to find your soulmate. That's it. Then we, 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 what we do is we, this, this puts a halt or it lessens overthinking. All that overthinking that you're doing when you're dating, that's stopping you in your day. When we, we, we start to have a new outlook on overthinking, we actually turn that into, it's transformed into self-coaching. So instead of the inner critic, right, which we probably know about, it turns into this like motherly and fatherly internal figure. And that's step two of the process. Step three is we start to embody your authenticity. And some people may say, oh, you know, like I'm really authentic, I am who I am. Um, and I would say lovingly, that's dope, yes. And if you are seeing these patterns show up that, that we're taking note of, then I can also say that maybe that there is something to heal. A pattern of something is three or more times. Typically, I'll be real with you, it took me four or five times to realize that I was a common denominator. So if that's you, I get you. But we really, the, the third step is that in that is we really start to embody your true authenticity. Embodiment. Embodiment means your self-love and self-worth have moved from your head into your body. So you are able to set your dating boundaries and, st and, and stick with them. You are able to say what you need and what your desires are. You are able to, um, through this process, choose the right man to spend your time with. This all happens within this framework. And the result is a, a wonderful, epic, like totally embodied being of love, of light, of magnetism. It's not all in your head. If, you're, if, you, if you ever feel like, and if you're listening to me, where are you right now? Are you in your head or in your, in your body? And that disconnection is where we want to focus on. 
Because until we, we get to this embodiment of self-love and self-worth, we are always going to have these patterns and we are always going to have this trouble. So my invitation for you is that even if you're in another program right now, is to reach out to me and I'll put actually the link for the connection call in the comments for the Magnetize Epic Love five month spring reset. And that is the program that will take you through this system to get that soulmate love that you've always wanted, five months. And I do actually have a guarantee with that. And we can talk about that more in the connection call. And I'm proud to offer this program because it's the program that I went through. It's the program that I'm taking my one-on-one -on -one clients through. And the, the Magnetized Epic Love five-month spring reset is a small, intimate group environment where we are all on the same path. And there is no judgment. There is no, um, no friends or family coming in there with their stuff, right? This is a very supportive container. So I'll put the link for the connection call with me in the comments. Um, I would do that sooner rather than later so we can start talking about it and then make you know see if it's right for you where you are. There are only four spots available in this cohort and I would love to chat with you soon. And I got you. You are not alone in this. I don't want you to be alone. Just maybe something different is what's calling you. I love you. Have a wonderful day. I'll talk to you soon.